Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a Black Friday, Cyber Monday haul. This isn't everything that I ordered. I'm still waiting on a couple packages. Like I'm gonna do a dedicated skims video from Black Friday, but I'm still waiting on that in the mail. And then I've been waiting all day long for my, I ordered something from Kylie Cosmetics for Cyber Monday and I've been waiting all day for it to come in the mail, but it still isn't here yet. Okay, so the first thing that I ordered was from Briogeo and full disclaimer, I've been, or actually there's water running down my wrist because these are in the shower. I, I've been using this these because I had run out of shampoo, but I ordered this kit. I got like $10 off for Black Friday, but it comes with a hair mask. I have not used it yet, but it's this, what's this called? The Honey Hydration Vegan Apple Honey Hydration by Briogeo. And then it comes with the Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Conditioner and the super moisture shampoo. Now I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like these, but I never, I didn't try the original, but I think for $28, this was a really good deal and I'm excited to try this out. So let me know that if you've tried the original or if you've tried this one and how it is and if you like it and how you use it. Cause I've never done like hair masks before. So I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna learn. <laughs> Okay, and then next up, I ordered a couple things from MAC. They had like a 30% off the whole site or something. And then if you're one of their members, you got an extra 10% off or something. So I've been wanting the MAC face and body foundation. I've never tried this. This is the Radiant Studio Radiance. I think they, did they reformulate it and replace it? But I've never tried it and I really wanted it. And I got it for like $17 with the discount. I picked mine up in the shade C3. And this is what the bottle looks like. I'm hoping that it looks like it'll be a decent match. But I know that this is also extremely sheer. So even if it is too light or too dark, which it looks a little bit light, either way, I'll be able to make it work. But I'm really excited to try this. This brush. This is the MAC one. How do you how do you, I've never had a MAC brush, so 130S or 130S. And I got this because I want a good cream blush brush or a good like cream bronzer brush and this one had really good reviews there was one that was a little bit bigger than this but it had really bad reviews talked about a lot of shedding and stuff so I went ahead and went with this little one and that's good because I do love little brushes for you know and this will be good to get like right on in there so I picked that up and then the last thing I picked up I'm hoping that this shows up this is the glow play blush in the shade so natural I think that this shows up because I saw someone who was extremely pale say that this was too light for them. But I also, that's another reason why I got that brush because I think it'll be really good to use for like these types of products. Let me see. Can I like, oh, that feels so cool. I've never, I've never had one of these, so I've never played with it. That's what it looks like on my finger. Okay, so it's gonna take some building up. If anything, I can wear it as like a pretty blush topper or maybe even a very like pink highlight, but that's what that looks like. I really want the shade Heat Index. So if any of y'all have that, let me know if you like it because I was looking at that shade and I was like, that shade looks so pretty. That's all that I picked up from MAC. Okay, now this next box is kind of a cheat. I'm not sure if this counts because I had like $150 in points at Ulta and then they did send me a 20% off coupon and then I think a couple of these things were on Cyber Monday. I'm not 100% but I do know that this was like a $200 order that I got for 10 bucks because of points, coupons, sales. So okay first things first just to get this huge thing out of the way of the box. Uh, if you made a $60 fragrance purchase, you got to pick a, a free blanket. They have a gray one and then this one, but of course I picked this one because this is just more my vibe, but it's really soft and cute and I'm probably just going to throw it on my bed because it, it matches in here pretty well. So I got this for free. Oh, random, but this was something that came with the Briogeo order. It was a bunch of different little like sample things. Okay, now also full disclaimer. I use this a couple times now and I don't like it. What I like about it is that, okay, so I should probably tell you what it is first. Sorry, I feel like I haven't filmed in forever, so I'm not, I feel like I like forget how to do this. This is by Pureology and this is the Strength Cure Blonde 
purple shampoo. Now I am finally getting to the point where like I've never cared about shampoo. I hate buying it. I wash my hair like once a week. And so it's just not something that I want to go drop a bunch of money on when there's like so many other better things. But now it's like I pay so much money to get my hair done that it's like I should probably invest in keeping up with it. And so I finally have started getting into like the realm of shampoo and conditioner and conditioning masks and leave-in conditioners and stuff like that. So with that being said, I'm trying this purple shampoo because I'm like, I want to keep, you know, my hair toned. Now it looks okay right now. What I like about this purple shampoo is it foams up really well, which if you've tried a cheaper purple shampoo, it's, it, they don't foam up. They're really hard to get like it, it doesn't feel like you're getting it all through your hair, all over your hair. It feels like you're missing spots or at least that's been my experience. So that foams up really, really great. But I've used that twice now and I left it in my hair for like 10 minutes today before I rinsed it out and it didn't really do anything. So I don't understand that. It does leave my hair soft, which purple shampoo can dry your hair out. That's also another thing I've noticed. That keeps my hair soft and like not tangled and it, it lathers real well. But as far as like keeping the brassiness out, I don't feel like it's gonna be that that good. So I wanna try the Olaplex one. And then if y'all have any other recommendations for purple shampoo, uh, leave them down in the comments, please help me out. But with that being said, I wanted to try these out. Uh, this is by Pureology as well. This is the Strength Cure Shampoo, the McKnight Twins have talked about this a lot. My friend Jessica told me that this is what she uses and she loves it. And so, but once again, I, these are, this shampoo and conditioner is like hella expensive. So I didn't want to buy the full size bottles and then not like it. So even though I used all my points and stuff on this, you're still spending your own money to earn those points. So I didn't want to buy the big bottles and then not like it. So I bought these little bottles. These are the blue ones. And I was going to try the purple, but then my hairdresser also said you should probably go with the blue because it's strength cure and since I lost so much hair during postpartum and I have a lot of hair growing back she was like it's probably better that you try and go for the one that's going to be strengthening so that your new hair that's coming in can be stronger so I went with this I'll update you guys probably on Instagram um so yeah I got these okay and then this I have wanted to try this for like two years I saved it and then a lot of people talked about how bad it was, but Jaclyn Hill raved about it in like her 2019 favorites video or favorites of something. She talked about it in a video, I believe back in 2019 and she loved it. Now she uses self-tanner. I don't use self-tanner, but she was saying that she noticed that this helps her self-tanner stay on longer. So, but I did use this. Oh, a lot of people said also it stunk which kind of deterred me, but this was on sale for Cyber Monday. So, or Black Friday, Cyber Monday, they, all the sales were kind of going on like all week long and all weekend long, but this is the Kiehl's, uh, what is it? Creme de Corpse whipped body butter, soy milk and honey whipped body butter with shea butter and jojoba butters. And it, it smells good. It, it, I smell coconut more than anything, like kind of like an Almond Joy, the candy bar, if you've ever had an Almond Joy but it smells so light and fresh and I did use this only once and you can tell by the texture when I was putting this on I felt like I was putting on like cake icing on my body but it soaked right in it hydrated my skin beautifully like I woke up the next morning and my legs felt like they had a like a coating of moisture around them it's not greasy not sticky not oily and I love it so definitely Definitely excited that I was able to get this. I think it was on sale for like $25. So, and then I had a 20% off coupon and then I had my points. So it was definitely worth it. And I would highly suggest trying this out if you're looking for a new body butter. Okay, and then I have gone back and forth on these. I do not wear a lot of lip products. I love lip liner with like a gloss over top or I just wear like chapstick. So I got rid of so many lip products and so I'm super choosy now. I think I have like one bullet lipstick. I have like two liquid lipsticks and then like three, 
glosses, then there are the Jaclyn cookie ones, and then my lip liners. So I have a very curated lip collection now. And so I went back and forth on these for so long. Finally, I bit the bullet because I've wanted them. And the day that she released these, I actually was in the hospital being induced with my son. So I never got, I wanted to buy them on launch day, but I didn't buy them on launch day. Then I had my points. So I went ahead and got them. These are the Jaclyn Cosmetics. Now I do have her lip liners and I love them. I have tried her liquid lipsticks, but I don't, I wanted these shades. These are the two shades that I wanted. I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry guys if y'all are having a hard time keeping up. But anyways, I got the lip liner in the shade Hot Tea. I wear Butter Pecan all the time. And so Hot Tea is one that I had really had my eye on as a darker lip liner. And so pick it up. Just see what this looks like. Mm. Okay, so that's the shade Hot Tea, which is exactly what I was hoping it would be. I didn't want it to be like a, you know how there's like a neutral brown and then there's like a chocolate brown and then there's like a red brown and then there's like a pink brown. I wanted it to be like a mocha brown, which is exactly what this is. I don't know what that's described as online, but this is... It's a little bit darker than Butter Pecan, but I could even layer them and it would be really pretty. And then I picked up the shades in the liquid lipstick Nudie and I'm a Cancer. Guys, when I tell y'all, I spent so much time watching videos on these, but since every single person has a different skin tone, it is so hard for me to tell how these are gonna look on me. So I was like, I'm just gonna buy them and I'm really hoping that these are not orange or peach. So here's what they look like. I'm gonna swatch them. They're a lot better now. Of course, I don't know what these are gonna look like on my face, but there's Nudie and I'm a Cancer. So I wanted it to be, well, brown and nude essentially, but I saw Nudie looked really, really like peachy nude on a lot of people and I'm a Cancer either looked extremely orange or brown. So I could never find, but I think that this is the combo I wanted. I wanted hot tea with I'm a Cancer and then nudie in the middle. So I'm not disappointed in these. I'm glad that I finally have them because it was one of those things where I kept taking them off my list and then I would re-add them. And so finally, I'm glad that I have these and I'll see how when they dry down, how they look, but I got those. Okay, and KKW Fragrance is my favorite perfume ever. I have one, two, three, four, five, six back there. And I love them so much. Like, I, I don't know why, I just love the scents. And also, I don't know what happened, but when I was pregnant, a lot of my scents I loved. And now, a lot of them, like I'm selling my two replica perfumes, replica, on my Poshmark because I loved the scent when I was pregnant, but now that I'm not pregnant anymore, I cannot stand the smell. But my KKW ones are the only ones that have stuck with me that still smell delicious and that I love and I honestly want tons of backups of because I don't want to run out of them. So with that being said, the rest of this video is a is KKW fragrance. And then I also ordered more today for day 11 of her 12 days of Christmas. And I've almost got all the ones that I want. We're getting there. So with that whole thing being said, at Ulta, I picked up two of the fragrances with my remaining points because I had to. And now they're gone. They were online and I picked them up. And then like within a couple days, they were completely wiped from the site. I don't know what that's about, but anyways. This is the Crystal Gardenia uh, fragrance. This is the full size one, it looks like this. And of course this came out a while ago, so I know that pretty much all of y'all know what it looks like. I love this box, it's so pretty. This is just the, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this out. I got it out. So, it just smells so good. I don't know how to explain her fragrances. Like they have these undertones and I just, I could literally smell these fragrances 
all day long. And I knew that I liked this because I had a sample, like a, the I used to have the, the trio spray, the purse spray. It's like a three set uh, thing from her site. And I had that and Crystal Gardenia was one of them. And so I knew that I wanted this. So definitely not disappointed to have this. And her perfume bottles are just like such an aesthetic. So now like, I'm gonna have to like clear this whole thing. And my husband was like, why did you buy so many? And I was like, cause I needed all of them. And he was like, okay. <laughs> so the last one that I picked up at Ulta is the Chris fragrance. And I pretty much did this. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this scent, but I kind of more so did it for collector bottle purposes because I mean it's so pretty and then on the back it's also on the back so no matter which way and this lid is like super weighted this feels like a metal like stone and this one smells good too it's not it smells like a lighter crystal gardenia but like I don't even know. I'm I'm so bad at explaining scents, guys. I'm sorry. It almost kind of smells like the beach with flowers, like lilies and honeysuckles and gardenia, but like a little bit of that like salty air and sunblock type of smell, but like an expensive sunblock. That's what this smells like to me. And I'm so glad that I love it because... I mean, otherwise, I would either give it to my mom or we just sit there. But I love this. So I'm very glad that I got this one. So that was everything that I got at Ulta. This is my KKW fragrance box. <laughs> okay, first things first. You can thank my husband because he wanted to open it and he pulled on the tape, Bob. Hi, editing me. So something I realized while I was sitting here editing this part of the video is when my husband got the box open, he straight up said, oh, you got another booby perfume. And I don't know why, but I thought that that was funny and I wanted to insert that. So anyways, don't mind me. Keep enjoying. Anyways, this is the Body 3 fragrance. I do have Body 2 and I love it. I don't use it that often because I don't want to run out of it because it's no longer on her site. So I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Anyways. This is body three and this one smells very like a kind of like a man's cologne. It's more, I don't want to say like gender preference because if you like the smell of it, then wear it. Like you don't have to be specified to wear a smell, but in the terms of more so gender association this is more masculine but it's also sweet i love it and I, I haven't smelled any of these okay like i've well actually no that's a lie when i first got them i couldn't wait i opened the box and i smelled all of them because if i didn't like them i wanted to like wrap them and give them to people for christmas but i love all of them so i'm keeping all of them okay next we have the pink lips by Kylie and I do have the nude lips which I love or it wouldn't be over there and this is what this looks like so cute and this one this is glorified sunblock but if you know me my favorite scents ever are the ones that smell like sunblock I don't like a like a nice sunblock though not like a child's sunblock but like a good beachy rich sunblock and that is what this smells like and a lot of people were hating on this one but i love it i love it so much i think it smells so good and i'm probably like i'm just gonna come in here and smell all of these because i love all of them and not to mention i've been getting really into like notes and dry downs and beginnings and comparing what I like and what I don't like. And I've been watching so many videos on different perfumes and how they sit on people and all that different stuff. And so, yeah, perfume is just like becoming a big thing for me. This is the Essential Nude. This is from the Essential Nude collection and this is Nude Soleil. Now you open it up and it looks like this. I think 
I am the only person on YouTube that likes this one. Every single, now I had the, the Liddy, the, the, I had the mini bottles of this that I had bought when this collection first came out that I tried because I wanted to buy the whole collection, but then I was like, that's stupid. Don't spend a hundred something dollars on perfume and never smelled. If you can buy the little sample. So I did. I wasn't impressed with a lot of them. Not just because like one of them smelled like straight peaches and that was, ugh. one of them smelled like old leather. This is the only one that I liked. And this is Nude Soleil. And it smells like, everyone on YouTube says this smells so nasty and I don't know why. It does not smell nasty at all. It kind of smells like, it's like a botanical garden, but Tom Ford Soleil Blanc is, this smells like that and mixed with like a botanic garden. I don't know. I don't smell anything gross about this fragrance at all. And the way that it sat on my skin, I loved. So to all y'all out there that have tried Nude Soleil, why the heck don't you like it? All people say is it smells like nasty tea or like it just stinks. They're like, it's trash. I don't like it. It's the worst one out of the bunch. I'm telling you, go watch videos. Everybody hates Nude Soleil, but I love it. It does not stink at all. Everybody likes Nude Silk. That one to me, I didn't like that much because it literally was so sweet with peaches and I just didn't like that. So anyways, here's Nude Soleil. I'm getting a little bit too excited. <laughs> okay, so this one is from the Komoji Hearts collection, right? Was that what it was called? Komoji Hearts. And this is the BFF. Now I went back and forth on this one because a lot of people said it smelt really immature. And I wasn't, everybody said it smelled like a little girl perfume. And I don't, I, I wasn't wearing perfume as a little girl. So I'm, I wasn't exactly sure what that meant. Here's the bottle. It's got a soft feel to it. And this is the BFF. I love the red so much. This smells, a lot of people said it smells like pink, pink chiffon or something from Bath and Body Works. I'm not, I'm not familiar with a lot of smells of Bath and Body Works as far as body care goes so I couldn't tell you if that were true or not but to me this smells like have any of y'all had a Yankee candle it's like an apple pie scent that's what this smells like a lot of people said it smells like strawberries and cream it doesn't smell like that at all to me it smells like an apple pie scented Yankee candle it smells like one my stepmom used to burn. That's what this smells like. Anyways, that's BFF. I think it's really good. Moving on. Then I picked up Bay. Now, I went back and forth on Wifey because a lot of people said that it was mature. And a lot of people were like, it's an acquired scent. So I didn't pick it up during this sale. Well, today for her Bay 11 of, I bought it because I, I have to have it now because I want to know because there's I then I started seeing people say that it was their favorite one so I ordered opal drip which I'll get to white diamond and wifey those are what I ordered today but this is bay looks like this so cute and this one smells really good it's powdery so if you don't like a it's like a powdery uh somebody said it smelled like baby powder it kind of smells like baby powder mixed with a little bit of musk but sweet and I know that probably doesn't make any sense to you but it's very powdery but I like it a lot so there's bae and I'm just going to get this out of the way. I had ordered the little Opal collection mini perfumes because once again, I almost bought this whole collection just because the bottles were so cool. But I was like, just get this because none of the Opals were on sale for Black Friday because they're too new. So I was like, just get this. And then if you didn't end up liking any of them, then at least you got to try them out, but you didn't spend $45 on each one that, you know, or the bundle is like 120 or something like that. So anyways, I'm here to happily announce I'm obsessed with Opal Energy. 
and I'm obsessed with Opal Drip. So I did go ahead and order Opal Drip because it was 30% off Kim's like most used or whatever today. So Opal Drip was on sale for $31. So I did grab that. I do want to order Opal Energy. So I have already used these up. Opal Drip straight up is rich cotton candy. That's the best way I know how to explain it. It smells like a very, very rich, high in person eating cotton candy. And Opal Energy kind of smells like a department store perfume, like a, like a Dior or like a, a certain Chanel or like a Prada. That's what Opal Energy smells like. But I love the way Opal Energy mixes with my body chemistry. That is why I like it so much. However, Opal Mood. I want to love this. But this one's still, these two are empty. This one is not. Does anybody remember? I don't even know if they still make it. Original Febreze Lavender. I think it might be lavender. I'm not 100% sure, but the original Febreze scent that ever came out, the room spray, specifically the room spray. But like, trying to cover up the smell of cat pee. Have you ever, have you, <laughs> have you ever been somewhere that like smells like an animal? Like it just smells like, like cat pee or it's just not a clean house and you can tell that somebody's trying to fix it by just using Febreze. So it's like the smell of Febreze mixed with like the dirty scent of like animals. That's what Opal Mood smells like to me. But everybody that I was talking to recommended Opal Mood. They were like, oh, Opal Mood's my favorite. So that just goes to show you, you'll have to try this out because once again, all scents are personal. And smelling it from the like the little sprayer, it smells okay. Like it's not bad. But when I spray it on my skin, it smells like Febreze trying to cover up a really nasty smell. That's all I got to say. <laughs> We've only got a couple more. This is the, the, this was the Diamond 2 collection. And this is Kim's. Now, once again, this is the Emerald Diamond. You open it up, it's like this. And the reason that I bought a full size of this is because once again, this was in the Purse Trio set. And every time I sprayed it, my husband loved the smell of it. Like on me, he was like, oh, that smells so good. So this is the Emerald Diamond. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but it is green. Fingerprints are on it. And it smells good. It, okay, once again, bear with me here. Kind of smells like mosquito spray, but like in a good way. Or maybe I'm just weird and I like the smell of weird things. It smells very earthy, like you're walking through a forest. Like I could see myself wearing this with my Teddy collection by Skims with some boots and sitting outside by a bonfire. I know that is the only <laughs> perfume I've been able to give like a descriptive story around, but oh yeah, definitely. It's a very outdoors smell, but it's so unique and beautiful and I love it. <laughs> and then I got the Sapphire Diamond, which now I want the Ruby Diamond. And I knew that if I left them out, I was going to regret it. I want to get Ruby Diamond, which is Courtney's. But a lot of people said it's a very mature, like, old lady smell and scent. Now, since I know that I like so many other fragrances that other people hate, now I'm like, I really want to try it. So that one is in my cart, along with Opal Energy and Crystal Oud. I really want to get those three. Just throwing that out there. So this is what Chloe's Sapphire looks like. And this was everybody's favorite. Such a beautiful blue bottle. And this one smells like water, smells like a bowl of like flower petals in water. But also like, everyone said it smelled citrusy. Once again, I don't smell that.
Oh my God. When I was 11 years old, I had a Hannah Montana shower kit that had a body spray and a body wash. And this smells like that. That was mango scented, but this smells like that. Very kind of fruity, like a fruity floral. It's not my favorite out of the bunch, but I do like it. And I think my husband will like this one too. So now I gotta get Ruby because I gotta complete the collection, but that's Chloe Sapphire. Okay, and I saved the best for last. I didn't think it was possible to smell something this delicious, but I wanna buy like five of these. I'm going to treasure this one and I'm scared to use it because I don't wanna run out of it. And I know she's like, once these are gone, they're gone. So this is the Crystal Musk, not Crystal Musk, Violet Crystal, Crystal Violet Musk. Crystal Violet Musk. Once again, you get little crystals. I'll open those up. And this is what it looks like. This is the little bottle from what the big Crystal Gardenia looks like. It is so cute. And when I tell y'all, like, it is so good. <laughs> it is so good. I don't even know how to like, it's soft and like calming, very calming. It's not in your face. A lot of people might not even be able to smell it unless they're pretty decently close to you. But I just, it smells so good, so good. I love lavender though. Like I love, like I put lavender baby lotion on my toddler till he was over three years old just because I love the smell of it so much. But it's got a purple tint to it, but it smells so good. And I highly recommend it if you like a very soft, subtle scent. I can't even tell you what it smells like. Like I really can't. I can't even begin to describe it. It's just very soft and sweet and like pure. Yeah. Then I'll show you the little crystals. This is the clear quartz. They look like that. And it says, clear quartz awakens an amplifier of energy, brings balance and alignment to all areas of the mind and body. Violet musk. And these are a little bit different. Amethyst quartz enhances creativity and passion, strengthens imagination and intuition. Like little amethyst pieces. So, also there, that's what those look like dried down. I love them. No regrets. With that being said, that is the end of my video. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. But if you didn't like it, I'm so sorry that I wasted your time. Go ahead and subscribe. If you want to come back and see me and click that little notification bell so that you're notified every single time that I upload. And don't forget to go follow me on Poshmark and Instagram. I will have those down below. And yeah. That is the end of my video. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.